Hello all, welcome to the castle. Today we're going to be talking about Shang and Chi. Now, I have been able to see the movie early and I was not paid or anything else. This ain't got nothing to do with anything I'm doing. Like I have said previously, I just know people. This movie is not necessarily bad, and it ain't really that woke. It has a few spots, depending on your definition of woke. And I'm going to try to do this without spoiling it. The good spots, no spoilers. Most of the action, pretty well done. You know I mean, there's some there's spots where it's kind of sloppy, but for for the most part, eh, it's not bad. But this. I just I don't know how people are going to take this movie. It's it's not, it has issues and a lot of them. Uh, it, there's more, not wrong, but just more bad than good. It's boring. I'm just going to say it. I mean, it's aside from the fights, which I mean anyway. But you have this. And, and there was something about this that I was sitting there thinking, I've seen this picture before, and I could not shake that feeling through the entire movie. And I can't remember exactly what it was that made me go, oh, man, that's what it is. It's kind of a mix between Mortal Kombat and the CW's Kung Fu. And once my mind made that connection, I mean, the plot is pretty similar. With the exception of, for those of you that don't know, Kung Fu is a television show on CW. I've seen four, five-ish episodes of them. It's boring as hell. And the, really the main difference is you have these eight swords in the Kung Fu version. If you put all eight together, it makes you a god, basically. And this is kind of the same thing. I mean, it's very, very similar. It was like, wow. It almost made me think that they borrowed writers from the CW to write this. That's, that's it's just... There's so much. Oh, man. And the ending. I'm not, no spoilers, but. Mm. Mm. I want to so bad, but I can't. I just, uh Let's just say it was stupid. To me. That's just to me. I'm, I'm that's, mm, 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 I can't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I couldn't recommend it. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be on Disney+. Plus. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Should you go to the theaters to see it? I mean, if you absolutely don't have nothing else to do and... I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I mean, at best, this movie is 5 out of 10. And really, it ain't even... To me, it's and it's just... But like I said, my problem with the movie was just... It just drug on. The jokes, to me, don't land. There's one or two that kind of got a chuckle out of me. But other than that, the rest of them... Eh, uh, this is no triumph by any stretch of the imagination. And if you don't think that they're, these people are shilling for this movie, I don't know what else to tell you. Go to Twitter, look up Triumph, and you ain't got to do nothing else. It's just, they're everywhere, all of them. They all have almost the exact same writing. I almost did a video on it, but somebody beat me to it, and I was like, you know what, man, it don't really matter. 
It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It ain't gonna change anybody's mind that wants to watch this anyway. But that's me. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video.